we're back. We're rocking and rolling. Another Tough Love Tuesday. I'm so excited uh, to dive in to today's topic. And this is something that, um, as you know, if you've been following along with these Tough Love Tuesdays, um, you know, I draw a lot of inspiration for these um, weekly segments and little Tough Love snippets from conversations that I have with my clients every week or things that come up personally in my own week, in my own life. And today I really want to speak about something big that came up actually in two of my conversations today with women um, inside my current uh, group program that I'm hosting. And it seems to be a reminder that a lot of us need today, which is why I wanted to share it with you. So, you know, I'm curious for all of you watching, uh, whether you're watching live or you're watching this replay, you know, if you ever feel like life is working against you and like, you know, like, all the people in your life are, you know, annoying and triggering you and your job sucks and you just can't get a handle on your eating habits or, you know, it's just like your parents were horrible to you or, you know, kind of this feeling of, well, I really got the short end of the straw, right? Like, why is the universe working against me? Why is life so hard? You know, and maybe you've experienced this this last year with the pandemic, you know, why are things so hard for me when I look at other people and they don't seem to be having it so hard? And I want to offer you a really beautiful and powerful mindset shift on this, because this is something that has impacted my life in a huge way. And it's so simple, yet so profound. And this is the tough love that I want to share with you today is that the universe doesn't give you what you want. It always gives you what you need. I'm going to say that again, the universe, the world, the planet, God, source, whatever you want to call it, doesn't care about what you want. I mean, it does, but it's not going to give you what you want. It's going to give you what you need. And oftentimes we live obviously in this 3D reality where we see something, we get tunnel vision on. I want this. I want the perfect body. I want this amazing relationship with my husband. I want this perfect job. And when we don't get those things and life brings us struggle after challenge, after, you know, problem person, you know, triggering situation, um, we start to get really resentful. Like what's going on universe? Like I want all these amazing things. Why can't I have them? And when I started really deepening in and, and really learning this for myself and looking at my world and my life through this lens of, wait a second. Okay. I'm not getting what I want, but I'm getting what I need. And when I could start really feeling into, okay, how is this situation or person or, uh, struggle serving me? How is this actually supporting me in becoming a better version of myself? And now every single time, you know, there's a troublesome person in my life or a situation doesn't go according to plan, I can see that it's exactly what I needed. And this is often easier to understand as you start just reflecting on after the fact of situations, you know, if somebody yells at you or you have a, an argument with your husband or a tough day at work, you know, or just a job in general, oftentimes this can be a lot easier to see. And I really encourage you even just to thinking back to your life and challenging situations that have come up in your life or challenging people that have appeared in your life and, and coming at it with a new lens of, you know, what did I get out of that situation? How did I learn and grow and become a different version of myself because of that situation? And this is such an amazing, freeing way to view life because as we go through challenges, which by the way, is the only guarantee in life, there will be challenges, there will be struggles, there will be people that don't like us or people that don't agree with us or people that just want to be angry at us, right? There will be all of these situations in life. And when we can start to take personal responsibility, but not just that, really leaning into trusting and surrendering that there's a bigger picture here. And there are so many opportunities, mostly in the, in the mud, I call it, in the challenges. That's where we grow. That's where we learn. So, you know, things like for me, when I'm looking back at certain people that have been in my life or even my family members, like, why do I have to have this certain family member, right? Or the job that I was in before that I just hated, you know, and really struggled through for two years. You know, I look back now and say, oh, I get it. I get it. Like the universe didn't give me this beautiful, amazing job that I loved because I was not aligned with my purpose. And it had to make it really miserable for me so that I woke up and quit my job so that now I can serve the world and, and tap into my purpose and help all my clients in the way that I am now. If my job had been cushy and fun and lovely and an enjoyable time, I would have stayed. 
and I wouldn't have been aligned with my purpose. So the universe always has our back. And I know we've heard that saying, right? And oftentimes we can't see it. So this is where trust really comes in. And I just want to plant the seed for you today as a reminder that you usually don't get what you want. Okay, this, you know, yes, we can absolutely go after our dreams and we can get what we want, but on a universal level, like we always get what we need. And when the two are aligned, beautiful, we're going to get what we want and what we need. That's amazing. And sometimes those do align, but you know, it doesn't always show up that way. And it usually shows up as challenges. And when we can lean into understanding, oh, okay, there's something in here that I need to grow. I might not just be able to see it yet, but there's something in here that's for a reason. You know, another example for me is just last October when we got given notice that we had to move out of our house. We loved the place where we lived, you know, last year in the woods and it was beautiful and surrounded by nature. We had a hot tub. It was amazing. I had my garden. And I remember in that moment just being crushed. I was like, I don't want to move. I don't want to do this. And you know what it was is the universe supporting us in getting crystal clear that we're ready to buy our first home. And if we hadn't have been given that time to get out, we wouldn't have started taking action and putting in, you know, the, uh, the steps that we need to now to buy our, our next home, which we're still looking. Uh, this spring is our big is our big goal to do that. So we're kind of in the in between right now. But I know that the universe was there to support me. So I didn't want to move. But it is what I needed for my development, my growth for this next stage in, in my life and in my journey and to help me work towards one of my goals. And actually, it, it actually just kicked me off the fence because for years I've been like, I want to buy a house and it just never happened. So this was that kick in the pants that I needed. And I'm so grateful for that. So I wanted to, you know, short and sweet. That's what I wanted to share with you today, you know, as a reminder that all of, you know, the challenges and the struggles are what we need. Okay. And they're usually not what we want because they, they suck. They don't feel good. They're not fun, but they are what we need for our soul's development, for our growth, for our evolving, also for our healing. You know, the final thing that I'll say here, and this came up in my conversation with a client earlier, right, is a reminder that everyone in our life, every human being in our life is just a mirror. So when you find yourself getting triggered or frustrated or angry at someone else, turn that inward. It is such an opportunity, you know, as the universe literally plants people in our lives for a reason. And it's usually to heal something or to show us something that we want to shift or work on, or like I said, heal through in our own life. So, you know, when you can start to see people in your life in this way, it becomes really eye opening, especially if you're noticing getting triggered or, or you have a, a difficult relationship with someone, start looking inward for, for what that's triggering in you and why, and what that person is actually showing you about yourself. Because the truth is when we are so solid and healed and grounded and confident in ourselves, you know, what, what happens outside of us doesn't affect us the same way. So when it is affecting us, that means there's a wound there. There's something, there's something to heal. There's something to grow through and learn from. And other people are our best mirrors, especially those who are closest to us, you know, that we feel safe around, you know, in expressing ourselves. So the universe doesn't always give us what we want, but it, always, always, always gives us what we need for our soul's development. So that's the little message that I wanted to share with you today. And I'm hoping that you can just start to just even once today and maybe twice tomorrow, just to start to see the world through this lens, through this lens of people being there to support you and show you, you know, through triggering you, you know, what it is in yourself that you, you want, you actually need to grow through or heal. And the universe is there to support that with people coming into your life, with situations, challenges, struggles, all of it. And when you can start to look through this lens at the world, it brings so much peace and freedom and healing to yourself. And, you know, that just spills out in every area of your life, whether it's your relationships or your patterns around food, right? I know that, you know, this is a big piece where it comes out for all of us is in that you know, showing up as those habits or bad habits or patterns that we're, we're not happy with. So, you know, just trust that you are where you are for a reason and you need to be right where you are and uh, you're getting exactly what you need, even if it doesn't feel good. Okay. So really lean into that and I invite you to journal, you know, journal some of that out today, if anything's coming up for you on that. And uh, thank you all so much for, for tuning in with me for another tough love Tuesday. I hope that you really enjoyed this one. Uh, this is a big one and a big, um, you know, guide post by which I live my life and see the world. And I hope that that's supportive for you as well. So thank you again so much for being here with me. And I'll see you again, same time, same place 